Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which is one of my favorite budget-friendly gaming and video editing cards out there for 2023 and beyond. And we're actually gonna do a budget gaming and video editing build with this card. I mentioned it in my last video that this was still one of my top five video editing cards for 2023 and beyond. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at my favorite version of the card, which is the MSI Ventus XS OC Edition GeForce GTX 1660 Super. We are gonna run some tests on this bad boy so let's start off with a quick unboxing of the unit. So this unit has a boost clock of 1815 megahertz and video memory of 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 which is much better than the non-super version. If you are getting this card make sure you're getting the super version and not the regular version as that 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 makes a world of difference. In terms of output there are three display ports and one HDMI slot. The card feels nice and sturdy in my hands. It's small enough that it will fit in most PC cases and overall aesthetically looks very pleasing. So let's start off with one of the major pros of this card, which is the price and availability. Right now you can find these for around $200 and $250. So it's quite readily available, making this one of the most budget friendly worldwide available cards out there. The one major con of this card would be that it doesn't have any hardware assisted ray tracing or DLSS capabilities and is more outdated technology. So if you are a gaming fan then you might be a little disappointed although it does support FSR for some games. But with that said we're going to put this card to the test later on so let's start off with doing a PC build on this card. All right, I wanted to make this build as budget friendly as possible without sacrificing performance. So keep this in mind as this is meant to be a budget gaming video editing PC. So hopefully you'll like some of the picks that I made. So let's go. For the CPU, I'm gonna select the Ryzen 5 5600X. This is one of the best mid-range gaming chips out there and one of the most power efficient desktop PC chips available. It also offers strong performance in content creation and productivity tests. For my PC build, I'm gonna use the ASRock B450M Steel Legend. This is one of my favorite boards of all time. You've got Polychrome Sync, which allows you to make some sick RGB lighting for your games. You've got M.2, PCI Express Gen 3 X4, and all your other standard stuff as well. You've got some really good audio on this board as well. And while most motherboards, I recommend throwing in a sound blaster. This one, you can actually get away with the onboard audio as the audio is pretty premium quality. You get a pair of SATA cables and a really nice IO shield that comes with the motherboard. Aesthetically, this board looks awesome and the board just feels really sturdy as well. Uh, so overall, great mid-range system board that I would be proud of using for any budget PC build using an AM4 socket. For the case, I'll use a Dark Flash Micro ATX Mini Tower. It's roomy enough for everything I need with a hinged tempered glass panel. It's a great mid-tier ATX case for this budget build. The power supply we will go with is the Corsair CV650. This is an ultra efficient low noise power supply, so absolutely love using this in my PC builds. For the hard drive, I will use the Western Digital 1TB Blue SN570 NVMe internal SSD. This is a great fast drive for content creators. I love the small form factor and it cuts loading times by a few seconds compared to SATA SSDs. So let's go ahead and put that one in. For the RAM, I will throw in the Kingston Fury Beast 16GB, two sticks of 8GB. These are DDR4 RAM with 3200MHz of memory. I'll just keep it simple for this PC build and the Kingston Fury is a reliable brand. So with that said, let's throw this PC together and start running some tests. Enjoy the music and let's go.
the PC is done and everything is installed. So let's load up this bad boy. So what I really want out of the GTX 1660 Super at a minimum is 60 frames per second and 1080p gaming on fairly high settings. Let's see if it can at least perform to that level and let's see how well it performs. We'll put it to the test with a couple of different games. We will test out Warzone, Dota, Valorant, and Fortnite. So enjoy the music and the test. All right, so the GTX 1660 Super performed very well on all games, and I'd be surprised if it couldn't deliver you at least 1080p gaming on 60 frames per second on most games, except for maybe like Cyberpunk 2077. It's still just a beast of a card if you're just looking for that 1080p gaming. Once again, no DLSS, but we do have access to FSR technology. So I'm definitely impressed with this card in terms of gaming performance. Now, how well does it perform in video editing? Let's put it to this test with Adobe Premiere Pro and we will test out editing both 1080p and 4K videos and take a look at the export times as well. So enjoy the music and the test. Okay, so the GTX 1660 Super completely crushes it for video editing for 1080p footage. This is really where the power of that 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM comes into place. It's fairly fast export speeds as well. For 4K video, especially high frame rate 4K footage, it may start to struggle a little bit at times, especially with export times, but honestly, it is still manageable. And once again, this is a budget card, and if you're looking for something a little bit more powerful, that's where I would really recommend that RTX 3060, which I talked about in my last video. After taking a look at both gaming and video editing, Overall, I have to say I'm really impressed with the GeForce GTX 1660 Super. It's still an awesome budget gaming and video editing GPU, and for most people, this might just be enough for their content creation and gaming needs. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, please do me a favor and like and subscribe. The link to this complete PC build is also in the description below in case you're interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below about what content you'd like me to make next, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.